Welcome back for the monthly update. Uh, here we are the first of May and I know many of you out there are maybe getting ready to go to your favorite Mexican place for Cinco de Mayo, which actually happens to be my dad's birthday. So I guess he's had to celebrate that every year of his life. Don't know that he's big into Mexican, but anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. We're coming uh, today from the reserve. We're actually here and as you saw as we opened up, we've got a beautiful home uh, behind us that looks out as you see the view the islands big part of the lake and this is truly a point lot uh, actually has 244 feet of waterfront uh, very much a custom home over 6,000 square feet one of the nicest houses on the lake um, just got tremendous amenities but again this house will be coming on the market very soon and so uh, in the future if you have any interest be giving us a call because this is going to be a nice listing to be looking at at some point we're going to hopefully have uh, pictures and video of the inside of the house but uh, let's talk about the market as we always do to begin with um, this year waterfront lot sold so far 24 last year waterfront sold by this time in the same year 24 so the market's not really changing much we're staying right right there um, eight lots over 300,000 uh, last year in 2010 this year nine lots over 300,000 so again virtually the same uh, where we've seen a difference so far as houses house sales 2010 33 homes had closed by now this year only 23 so there's a 30 percent drop uh, in the number of houses now in 2010 seven had sold for over 1 million at this point this year eight have sold for over 1 million so really uh, about one-third of the homes that have sold this year have been over a million actually over a million one so you know what does that tell you again the high-end buyers are still out there uh, but they're getting very good deals. I mean, a lot of these houses are houses that people have well over two million in that are selling into the you know mid one millions, maybe upper one million category. Uh, medium price range this year on houses six hundred and thirty thousand. Uh, so that just gives you a quick little idea of the market. Uh, again, we're still seeing some bank owned short sale things come on the market. Uh, there's some great values. Just saw a property in Waterford Point hit the market that originally sold for 600,000 is now on the market for 239, a point lot. There's a lot in Waterside Crossing that originally sold for 665, hit the market for 299. And I'm talking about, you know, one and a half acres with 500 feet of waterfront. So again, these are great buys and people need to be taking advantage. I don't expect either of those to be on the market very long. Um, so, you know, again, you need to get out there. If you've got some cash right now and can do something with it, now is the time to buy. Uh, as you can see, we've got an awesome day. People out even during the middle of the week out enjoying the, uh, the beautiful lake. Uh, other things are going on. We've seen our rentals do very well this year. Um, really about everything we've got has been pretty much filled up. So if you have uh, looking for a weekend or a week to come down sometime, give Rick Rick a call 864-784-9977. Uh, hopefully uh, things are going well for everybody out there. A um, couple things I want to talk about too. Again, if you're looking to list a property, and I think this is vitally important because you've got a lot of different properties to compete with on the market. One, you need to make sure that lot is marked very well. And number two, get it cleaned up. Anything you can do in a market like this to help your lot come to the top or be the cream of the crop, so to speak, it's going to be pricing and presentation. And those are going to be the most important things. And then obviously when you're listing it with somebody, you want to get it out to as many uh, outlets as you possibly can. So those are the important things of getting property sold in this market. Uh, luckily, right now, I think we've got seven or eight transactions on the board, so we have been moving some properties even in these tough times, but again, folks, it's a challenge. It's hard to get people to pull the trigger these days because there are a lot of options, so when a good option hits the boards, it will go off, but those things have to be done. As far as a home, I want to tell you this again, and I've said it before, if you're looking to list a house, the best, first thing you should do is invest the $350 and get that house appraised because 
you want a late Kiwi appraiser to do it, not some appraiser that the bank sends out that might be coming from Spartanburg, South Carolina that really doesn't know the lake. So I think that's important. That $350,000 or $350 invested can save you thousands and thousands of dollars on the back end because if you've got a buyer willing to pay $800,000 for your house and that appraiser appraises it at $750, guess who loses? That's going to be you because the only way you're going to get it sold is if you drop it down to $750 and make that happen or you're going to take it off the market altogether. So something to think about out there. And uh, you know what I've seen is the houses we've left listed, we've been able to get these appraisals. And then when it's time for that appraisal to come in, we just hand that appraisal to the new appraiser coming in. And 100% of the time, we do not have an issue uh, with getting the houses to appraise. So that's something to think about. Uh, again, if you're looking to buy or sell, give us a call, 800-682-9098. Uh, I need to get out and start playing a little golf. I hope everybody else is doing that too because I hadn't had much time. It, even though you think things are a little bit slower, we've been very busy. The phones are still ringing. So uh, if we can help you out with anything, give us a call. Uh, we'll be there to, to, to show you property, whatever, or get it listed and give you an opinion. Look forward to seeing you next month. Uh, the kids will be getting out of school by the time I, you hear from me again. So I know they're looking forward to summer. I'm looking forward to myself and certainly enjoying this beautiful weather like today.